Don't you just hate it when you recorded a video and there's background music and then you get flagged for copyright? Well, today I'm going to show you how to remove background music using Adobe Premiere Pro. So for example, here I'm shopping for a jacket at my local Burlington and there's background music. I'm looking for jackets and I see this DKNY. See, the music media, is clearly present. Fashion. Bomber, All right, so what should we do? First of all, this is going to be comprehensive, so it might be a little bit long video, but I want to cover all the bases. All right, so what you want to do is go to Windows and then select Highlight Essential Sound if it's not hasn't been highlighted. All right, so here we want to select the track, so it turns to this. Uh, detailed information right here all right so right here in we want to turn on the repair okay open up the repair select reduce noise so let me play it once again all right I'm looking for jackets and I see this. okay so I'm gonna select reduce noise I'm gonna play it again I'm looking for jackets and I see this. It's still a little bit present, but we can just tell that it has been buffered, reduced significantly. Alright. You can also drag it. You see how it increases? So let's say a seven. I'm looking for jacket. That's even better. Let's say I click it all the way to a ten. I'm looking for jackets. So you can hear the music is basically all gone except for the lyrics. But that's okay though because uh, it's the music that's uh, usually the uh, copyrighted content. Okay, so that's good right here, right? So we know that we have the option to reduce noise. So I'm going to uncheck that. Okay, and then we also have the reverb. All right, so I'm looking for jackets. All right. And I'm gonna select reduce the reverb. Check this out. I'm looking for jackets. Okay. So I'm gonna click it to the maximum reduce. I'm looking for jackets. So let's say if I want to also reduce the noise and also reduce the reverb, I'm gonna play it. I'm looking for jackets. And I see this EKNY next media. Fashion. I can barely hear the lyrics, but then again, it distorted my, 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 uh, my dialogue. Okay, you just have to play around with it. Um, I would say probably to give it like a probably like an eight, and also an eight right here. I think that should be uh, pretty good. See, I can't hear basically hear any music. Next media. I think this will pass most tests, you know, the the checkers uh, for like, for example, Amazon or YouTube. OK, so that's one option. All right. I'm going to get rid of this. Put it back at the default. I think it was five. Put it back at the reverb at a five. And then now we're going to go to uh, the effects tab. Okay. And then I'm going to search for this tool called Denoise. So I'm going to click that, drag it onto the timeline. I'm looking for Japanese and I see this EKNY next media. So that's synonymous. Or equivalent with playing around with the the noise. I meant with the um, turning on the reduce the noise and then the reverb. And also we have the option of you can do a combination. Actually, let me get rid of this the noise. Okay, so I'm gonna Control Z. So I got rid of the noise. Now I'm gonna type in the reverb. All right. I'm looking for jackets. Hold on, I think that still had the. Okay.
I'm looking for jackets and I see this DKNY next media. So that's the D reverb. Fashion bomber. All right. So those are the four options. I believe that if you get the combination right, that will help clear the music. A lot of those are uh, robot checkers that checks the music for copyright on YouTube and Amazon. Um, they, they're, they're, they're pretty specific. I think when you have the right combination using this four options that I manifest, I told you, it will help clear it. So I hope this helps.